Now, <coughs> bounce back game for you, I know you're trying to put the Bahamas behind you, but started the game really helping the team, beating those players out top, getting drives and then kicking out. Then you got some scoring offense in the second half. Talk about your game tonight and what it's been like kind of dig out of this. Man, I was in my head in the Bahamas, not really playing my game, being indecisive, indecisive. But like tonight, like Coach Smart sent me clips of me uh, from last year when I played against Duke, and he just told me to play my game, go out there, play confident, um, and really just look for my teammates. And that's what I did. Like started the game off, look for my teammates, get my guys shots, and when I needed to score, I scored. So felt good. Seven, third double double. Last four games for you. Big response against an All-American again tonight. Talk about your performance and what it took to get there. So, you know, you know, I'm not looking at if somebody's an All-American or not. You know, I believe I'm one of those guys. So, uh, just going out there and, you know, it's a big win at home. You know, it's a great environment. It's good to have everybody on our side. So, you know, I just went out there and did, you know, uh, you know, know what, I, what I know I can do. And uh, it was a good turnout. Yeah, I guess for, for both you guys, you, you've been one and three, last, lost your last home game, and now Duke comes in. And just how big was it f for the team, you know, to start a turnaround winning such a big game? Maybe, Ellie, you could take that and then TB. Uh, I feel like it was big for us to get this win. Uh, as a group, we really knew that we needed this win tonight um, after coming off that loss to UNCG and then the two games in the Bahamas. But um, tonight we just decided we needed to lock in, really get this win so we can get some momentum going. Uh, you know, going in, you know, off them two losses in the Bahamas, you know, we knew we had to have today. You know, there was no, there was no option. We had to win this game. Um, and, you know, that was kind of the vibe in our locker room before the game, was everybody was just locked in. Everybody was excited to play. I mean, how can you not get excited? The sold out crowd. Um, so it was a great bounce back game, and uh, it was one we had to have. You know, and, and, and that L, I don't know if you even thought about this. She, fifth win tonight for the team. I, I know there's a lot more to come, but that's more wins than you even had last year. And I know you had a couple. I, mean, I don't really I don't mean that to rub it Damn, in. I Bob. really don't. Um, but but, but uh, and, and I think you'd scored about 40 points against Duke. So you had done well individually. But how big is it to beat them and then, you know, to have a big win like this when obviously last year was so tough for you? Yeah, it feels really good, you know, um, to be on a winning team to play with guys um, that are really good players as well. Um, and to get that win against Duke, like that's big for me. Like I was in ACC, I, like you guys know, I played against them multiple times and couldn't get the win. So tonight to be able to get that win, like it felt really good. You know, L, kind of what he went through last year and what he's helping you guys do. do. Um, you know, me, I feel like me and L, you know, kind of came from the same kind of situation. You know, at Missouri, my freshman year, you know, we weren't winning games like that. We might have won eight games. So, uh, shit, just coming to a program, you know, that, that's about winning. Uh, uh, it's a good feeling whenever you, you know you beat a, a top opponent. You know, coming from a coming from a team that you know doesn't win as much. For both of you, it seems like Austin's two best games this year have been against Purdue in the exhibition and then tonight against you know big time opponents. Just what what do you make of his me mental makeup that allows him to do that? Just his performance overall tonight. Man, I would say like he's one. Of the, he's like the best glue, glue, glue guy in the country. Um, he does everything. Defends. He rebounds. He can score when he needs to, but he's just big for us. Um, and he shows up in big time games. He's always ready, um, no matter what. Um, he's a big part of our team. Uh, like El said, man, he's always ready to play. He, he has a lot of experience. You know, he's played at you know two colleges, uh, so it's good to have an older guy in there. You know, he knows he knows how to play the game. He knows when to make the right read. Uh, so yeah, he's, he's he's definitely one of the best blue guys in the country. You guys had 17 assists tonight. Uh, must talk to us before the game about just kind of the struggles with the ball movement. I mean, what was kind of the biggest key from for that turnaround? And you guys really seemed like you could kind of find the open man at will. Um, really, just nobody cared who scored. Like we we're all just sharing the ball. Man, it's happy like when you see the ball going to basket after you get an assist. So like, really, just the game plan was just to move the ball, run good offense, you know, um, and be aggressive and just take care of the ball. And that's what we did. Did you uh, grow up a Duke fan from Durham? Or? Of course, no question. So. But when I got to college, I wasn't a Duke fan no more. Uh, Coach Must talked to us about how he spent 14 hours cutting every single play for you all before this game from the games in the Bahamas. Just how did his prep and his like attention to detail help you all in this game? Uh, you know, I feel like every game, you know, our coaching staff, you know, they give us everything we need to be successful. And, you know, this is just another one of those games. Uh, it was just a matter of us going out and executing the game plan. And, you know, we, we did that well tonight. Chapman, 
I don't, can't remember what game I asked you afterwards, but you said you were at like 120 percent. What what percentage health are you now? Man, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm ready. You know, I'm at a point where I'm. You know, the injury's behind me now. You know, it's coming up on a year since it's happened. So, you know, I don't. I'm not even. You know, thinking twice about that. I don't even. I don't even think about the injury no more. <laughs> um, but for both of you, um, Caleb, 21, five and five. 21 was obviously big, but the five assists. I think. I think four of those were threes. Just what did you make of him tonight? He hit some big momentum shots. I thought. Um, he's a big time player. Um, he really can score the ball at will. Um, he's really, and he's a better passer than he gets credit credit for. So that five assists was big. Um, must have been him about rebounding the ball. So uh, five rebounds as well. Like that was big. Um, everybody we got in there rebounded the ball well, um, and he had a big game. Shout out to him. Um, you know, shit. We know, and everybody knows how well he can score the ball. You know how well he shoots it, but. You know, when he's getting when he's getting five assists and you know five rebounds and and doing all little stuff, you know, it's hard to beat us. So. This is for both of you guys. Um, so El can take it first, and then Trevin. Uh, obviously, the crowd played a factor in your performance tonight. It was the largest crowd ever in Bud Walton Arena history. I mean, just amazing atmosphere. What did you guys think of it, and how did it help uh, on the court tonight? Man, that that was insane. Like, I haven't had that experience in college basketball except for the Purdue game. So. For me, like, I really just wanted to go out. I was just excited just to be out there and play. Um, the crowd played a big part, though. Like, it's tough to play in there with all those people, you know, screaming, yelling. Like, so I feel like that that home court advantage is, like, different when it's packed out like that. Uh, you want me to I don't got no heat. Sorry, I was afraid. What was the question again? I just, you know, the atmosphere tonight obviously it played a factor into all of it. The largest crowd ever in Bud Walton in history. <clears throat> I mean, it, when the fans are all, you know, all on our side, it's it's a it's a good feeling. You know, I can't imagine, you know, going somewhere else and playing against, you know, something like that. Uh, so just to have the fans there, man, that's, that's the best fans in the country. They're camping outside. You know, I drove past. There's, there's probably five thousand students outside. So you know, you're probably not getting that anywhere else in the country. And uh, man, I was just blessed to be a part of it. Uh, didn't know it was the I didn't know it was the most people here ever in Bud Walton, so you know that's a that's a that's something special. You guys were without T Mark tonight after that scary fall in, in the Bahamas the other day. Uh, just was there some added motivation to maybe go out and have a, a strong performance without him? And then what does it say about this group to respond the way you did without somebody who's been such a key part to the process so far? <clears throat> yeah, T Mark's a big part of our team. Um, he had an amazing game that last game in the Bahamas. That was his career high. Um, he's really been able to show that he can score the ball at will, defend and rebound. So yeah, I feel like guys, but we just have a deep team. Like you, you just never know. Like we have multiple guys that can go out there, you know, get 20, you know? Um, and I just, and I feel like without having him tonight just shows like how deep we were, like how together we were, like when a man's down, like, and we want to get that win for him. Sorry, do you want to answer that TV? No, okay. Um, hey, this was Eric's, Eric Musselman's 100th career victory here at Arkansas. I think it's 210 or something. But um, it, it, your thoughts on that, like getting Eric's 100th victory here in such a special, you know, atmosphere and win and everything? Uh, you know, we know Coach Muss, you know, all he cares about is winning, you know. Um, he tells us, you know, I know last year he used to tell us a lot more, but he tells us, you know, we live and die on East Possession. So, you know, tonight we were living and dying on East Possession. You know, we everybody – in the locker room wanted to win just as much as Coach Must tonight. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him to get that 100 win. Yeah, most definitely. I'm just happy for him. Um, he deserves it. Um, he comes in every day, you know, first one in the gym working. Um, so I feel like I'm very excited just to be a part of that 100 win. Um, and that's something I can share with him. See, it was a, going back to the Bahamas, I, I'm not sure what happened to you there, but I don't think you had any assists. You had six tonight. I don't think you scored. I mean, what do you think happened there and kind of how'd you dig your way out in such a big game? Um, just got to be mentally strong. Um, it's going to be bad games. Um, just got to be able to push through and bounce back. You know, I feel like I did that. L's. Oh. 26 assists in y'all's previous four games on 99 field goals, about one out of every four tonight, 17 on 26, two thirds. What was the difference on this ball energy tonight and how did y'all spark it? Really just sharing the ball, moving it. Um, we watched a lot of film about the ball just sticking on one side of the floor. Um, so we tried to get the ball to the second and third side, um, and we did that. And guys, when guys were open, 
Um, they knocked it down. We knew how Duke was going to defend us. Um, we knew TB was going to be open a lot because of how they're four-man guard. So uh, we took advantage of that. I mean, the first three, four minutes, like I was just looking for him because I knew he was going to be open the majority of the time. Um, L mentioned that Coach Smart sent him some tape of him playing against Duke last year, Trevor, after the UNC game. Was there any motivation from any of the coaches for you like that along those lines? Yeah, I would say Smart, you know, me and Smart, right when we got back, you know, um, I was coming in, you know, two, three times a day watching film, you know, watching myself, watching where I'm going to be at and where spots on the floor <laughs> against Duke. And, um, you know, we, re we really, we really game plan for, for Duke, you know, really hard. All the guys were bought in. Uh, everybody was doing their own positional film, and uh, you know the coaching staff did a great job of getting us ready for today. Bob, final question. Okay, hey guys, you, th th there were, I don't know if you realize. I think there was like thir thirteen or fourteen ties the first half. Some lead changes. You guys finally got some separation with like an eleven to two run, and, and Caleb scored seven. He, he led you with twenty one. Well, what do you think keyed that run? Just what do you think of his game tonight, L and TB maybe? Um, I feel like defensively, um, we were really good. Um, that's what got us got us that separation. And I feel like when we got that separation, um, we just kept pushing. Um, KB came up big with some clutch buckets. He had a really good night. Um, that's something that he's going to do every other night. So that's big for us. Now, what was Duke doing at the end when you don't have trouble getting to, to midcourt? Anything you hadn't seen there? No, I wouldn't say it's nothing I haven't seen. But like, we just got to do a better job of that. We have to getting the ball in, just um, and we was really trying to stall a little bit too. So when we get it in, we just gotta just break the pressure and go. Um, we just gotta do a better job of that for sure. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Jeremy, you wanna say something about KB? No, I don't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs>